My Little Dashy, written by Rob Kakerman 53 read by 8th Flame, edited by Sir Peppermint Jam. I live my life one day at a time. A good portion of those days are uneventful, always falling in the same routine. I wake up, walk to work, work, walk home, then bum around until I go to bed. Sometimes I'll hang with my few friends, while other times I'll just play video games or watch My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. Every so often, something new and interesting happens. I met an old friend, I find a dollar on the ground, or get chased by a stray dog. Living in a starring city isn't very fun or interesting. This city was once full of life and color, but now, now most of the houses are sagging. I fall into the same dull routine. Wake, walk, sleep, repeat. I do have some moments of bliss, but the daily struggles I go through outweigh the small moments of joy I have. My little pony has helped, but it's still just another thing to give my hopes up on. Every time I see the show or one of the ponies on the fan side, I recall a bit at the bright colors, the joyful faces of the ponies and the peaceful scenery of their world. It's so hard to look at that beautiful world, having it it's so close to my grasp. I reach out to touch its warm colors and bright smiling faces of the ponies, only to be stopped by, the com by my computer screen. I snap back to reality. It gets to the point where I, was, I, I will si simply shut down my computer and walk away. I do that a lot, especially after my parents' death. I go for a walk. When I feel sad, I walk. When I feel tired, I walk. When I feel like walking, I walk. Walking has become my second life in a sense. I spend at least half my day outside along the crumbling sidewalks and, be and decaying suburbs. I've seen people come and go. I've seen buildings torn down, burned up, or have so much graffiti on its walls that its original color is unrecognizable. I very rarely pass any other people on my strolls. Most people don't like to look at their once beautiful city, their homes or former businesses. I don't blame them. In fact, I envy them. They saw this place with their own two eyes, seeing the buildings still standing tall and proud, the lawns freshly cut, the paved roads and sidewalks still intact. The only thing I've ever seen that even comes close is my mother's paintings, each of them colorful scenes of this concrete world. She started painting once everything crumpled beneath her feet, making the sad scenery before her look beautiful. Her masterpiece is, an, is of an open field that yielded a park or a garage. Over it, she drew an amazing rainbow. My favorite picture, I guess, that is part of why I like Rainbow Dash. The most of all the other ponies, her colors, the amazing sonic rain boom how remind me of that picture. There have been times I wish I had my own rainbow dash, or more realistically, I pl a plushie of her to curl up in bed with. I've made an old Simba into a temporary re replacement until I am able to save enough money for one. It helps, in a way, like holding it close, like holds f close will heal my wounds, my pain, and my sorrow. My feet, after countless hours of walking in my old shoes, pulsate under the sheet, and all the while, I hold that stuffed animal harder than a mother protecting her child. It's the only thing I can look at and feel true joy, even if it isn't physically the rainbow dash I want. It'll have to do.